Good morning, my Ascension friends. I'm down here at the church, and I miss you. And I'm very grateful that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, and uh, not being here. It's a strange time, and this is a this is a season of Lent, of course, when prayer and fasting are central to our identity as a Christian people. And we are all knowing what prayer and fasting is about in these strange days. It's the third Sunday of Lent, and it feels very Lenten. The Gospel this morning is the story of the Jesus and the Samaritan woman at the well in the fourth chapter of the Gospel of John. It's a great story. I hope you'll uh, take a look at it today. And the interesting thing about it is that Jesus has found himself to be in Jerusalem and raised the ire of the authorities, and he needs to leave Jerusalem and go back to Galilee. And he chooses to go through Samaria. He doesn't have to. And it's an odd choice because most Jews would not have traveled through Samaria. They would have taken another route entirely to go around it. Because the hostility between the Samaritans and the Jews was so great. And of course the power of the parable of the Good Samaritan lies in the fact that no one trusts the Samaritan to do anything good. So Jesus chooses to go through Samaria and he meets a woman at the well and he says to the woman, give me something to drink. And she is dumbfounded because it's a Jew talking to a Samaritan and it's a man talking to a woman. None of which is a, is a boundary that would normally be crossed. And then the conversation evolves as you will see if you read it and it's a really interesting conversation in which Jesus is trying to to draw her to an understanding of the waters of life that are available to her and to her spiritual life that is so much more than the water she has come to draw from the well and when his disciples return they're worried that he hasn't had enough to eat. And he says to them, well, I have food you don't know of. In both these cases, he's drawing people to understand that there is more to their life than is immediately at hand. There is a spiritual reality to the way they live that they can taste in their own lives. One of the things that's so difficult about this time for all of us is the sense of isolation that it brings to people. We are all told to be separate one from another. There are all sorts of forms of separation already in this world we, we don't need to be told about anymore, but here we are told to live into separation. This gospel lesson reminds us that our calling is to reach across all the barriers between peoples, all the barriers that keep us from one another. So what I ask you to do today is to reach outside of the barriers with your phone or emails or Facebook or letters reach beyond your own narrow lives and touch the lives of others because everyone, everyone is suffering in one form or another in these days. Think of people you haven't thought of in a long time and just send them a note, send them an email, say, I'm thinking of you. That's what Christian community is about. That's what we're called to do. That's the reflection of the gospel that Christ came into the world to manifest. I will keep each and every one of you in my prayers this week, and I pray that you will keep one another in your prayers. And together,
together, we'll see each other on the other side of this, and we will celebrate with a great feast around this table. God bless you this day and throughout this week. Amen.